Hi everyone, it's Rachel Merrick, a Stamping Up demonstrator from Queensland, Australia. Welcome to my tutorial. Today's card is a pride inspired card. So in order to do this card, you're going to need some black cardstock. Um, this is your standard 15 by 10 and a half, which is Australian measurements because I am in Australia and we're just going to fold that one and then bone score one pot with our bone folder. Put that one down. You're going to need the foil cut to 10 by 14, which we'll get a few there. And then the next layer is 9 by 13. Gives a lovely big border um, around the outside. I've made mine this time around a little bit bigger because I wanted the foil to really pop. I'm going to quickly just use our um, Tombow um, multi glue and just a thin amount around the outside of that one. It's a new bottle, so there's lots coming out. And we just position it so that it is approximately in the middle. Slip slides a little bit on the foil, so you've just got to be a little bit careful that none comes out like it did just there. <laughs> And then again, a little bit on the back of our foil paper, like so, and I just throw a little bit in the middle. And then again, onto our card front, leaving a little bit of a black border around the outside and hold. Then we can pop that one aside and we're going to bring in our white cardstock. Now our white card stock is going to allow us to stamp. We're going to stamp several different images using these same stamps with the different colours. And I've stamped most of them. Here goes our last one, the garden green. And we're just going to hold it down. There we go. Now I'm going to die cut these out so that they create a little white border around the outside like these ones. Then we'll be ready to assemble. Okay, so I've cut out all of our shapes for our leaves um, with our die cut machine. The next thing we're going to do is match them up into pairs and I've got a thin strip of cardstock here that's just going to make life a little bit easier for when we're trying to glue them down. Don't worry, um, they will actually be, um, it'll be hidden a little bit later on. So you'll want to get two of the same and we're going to glue them so that Pretty much they're overlapping and there's just a small gap between each one each set of um, leaves there and that creates in your card each pair um, so I'm going to just pop a little tiny dot of glue about there and then pop the other one on top there just so that there is that bit of a gap and it creates a full branch like so and then that's going to be popped down onto our black cardstock as well. It's a bit hard to see, but there we go. Um, that's it. We continue for all the colours. Now that I have glued all of those onto that little strip, I'm just going to trim it back a little bit, just underneath that purple on the end there. Okay. And that is actually going to form the back of the card. So we're actually going to turn that over. As you can see, it's a bit like that. And we're going to pop some... Um, dimensionals on that just so it pops up from the uh, base a little bit more you can go nuts with your dimensionals like I do if you like um, or you can just put a few on so that it will stand up these side pieces here on the dimensionals as they're left are great to pop in the middle if you want the middle to be um, a little bit more stable as well so we'll pop those on hope that none of them are sticking out so you can't see them and I am just going to cut a piece of this edge piece that's like that and stick that down the middle just to give it a little bit more stability and we'll peel all of those off Oops. time-consuming some people use their um, pick your tool for 
taking those off. I can just not master the art of doing that. I don't know why. Just flick them off and they make a big mess for me to clean up a bit later. But that's okay. Um, these are really great. I love dimensionals. Just make sure we've got them all sticky. And we're going to pop them in the middle of this card right here. And gently press them down. There we go. Now it's just time to do the sentiment. The sentiment, as you can see, is another piece of black cardstock. It's actually cut as a banner, which I do last. Um, and I do the white embossing. Now my embossing is messy, so I won't record it, but you just um, use your Versamark ink to ink up your stamp and then spread your powder onto it and use a heat tool to um, melt it. I do go back in if I can sometimes, if there's a few too many white extra dots that are in the background and try to sort of scrape them off. It's not always that successful, but that's a little tip for you if you end up with too many. Now to complete our card with our sentiment, we have embossed it with white embossing powder and the heat tool. I've now got a um, piece of the foil that is just a little bit bigger. It's not going to go all the way to the ends, as you can see in our original card. It just kind of comes a little bit short, so it's like a backing. So we're going to actually glue that one on, onto there, and then once I've done that, I'm going to trim off these little tiny bits that are sticking out. And that is going to go up onto the card with some more dimensionals. Bit of glue on there. And stick it on. Like I said previously, just be careful with the foil because when you're using the glue on it, it is a little bit slip and slide. So you just need to hold it there for a second whilst it sets. I'm just going to bring in my scissors and trim those tiny bits out just so you can't see them. I had already cut the banner pieces in already on the black cardstock tag. So this just makes it really accurate. And it's going to be as simple as popping it on there. A few dimensionals, keep it popped up again. This time I won't go quite so crazy. We'll just do four and make a mess by flicking them off to clean up a bit later. And pop it in the center. It will cover most of that black um, strip that we have adhered the leaf clusters to anyway. And there we have it. It is a completed card. Thanks for joining me everyone. I um, hope it all made sense. The written instructions will be on my blog anyway. Thanks. Thanks again for joining me. Till next time.